Hey everyone, Mike Sherry back with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm showing you a brand new, this is a 2021 and a half Forest River Cherokee 274RK. This is the ideal trailer if you love to cook, if you need that big kitchen right, or it's also the ideal trailer for what I like to call mom and pop travel trailer, right? Where you typically have two people camping. You can have more, you can sleep up to six in this, but primarily two person traveling travel trailer. This might be for you. Check it out. So this is a Forest River Cherokee, again, 274RK. Now the Cherokee is the top produced and retail sold brand in America. And uh, as, you know, there's a lot of reasons why they really offer superior construction. And one thing about the Cherokee and what I'll show you on this 2021 and a half is they're always innovative. They're always putting the stuff that people want on campers. Uh, they were the first company uh, that I know of, a mass produced company, putting solar panel at an affordable price standard on all their trailers and fifth wheels. So this comes with a 50 watt solar panel, it comes with a bigger battery uh, to run that, uh, to for that solar panel to charge. It also comes with a battery disconnect and a controller to control all that. That's your bigger battery, it's a 27 series battery comes with this camper also two propane bottles or 20 pounders they come with the camper filled at no cost to you some dealers now will charge you for that so heads up there uh, this is power up and power down down uh, tongue jack here also has a built-in light which is great when you're hooking up at night uh, or if it's just dark maybe early morning also the Cherokee products do not put a lot of decals on their campers. Uh, this paint, this metal here is actually painted. It's not a decal or a sticker like a lot of companies do. And the benefit to that is paint will, tends to last longer than a sticker, right? Um, outside shower comes standard with both hot and cold water. You have your fresh tank fill and your city water connection. Also the, the water heater here, the water heater will light itself with a flick of a switch. You don't have to come out here with a lighter and about burn your hand off trying to light it, right? It'll light it itself and also that water heater has an electric side to it too so again what the Cherokee brand is known to do is the stuff you need they just make it standard which customers really like and therefore they buy their products outside light here uh, for uh, kind of this hookup area here dump station we have your cable input we have your black tank flush that's gonna be for your black tank which is your poop tank so what this does is you hook your hose up here and that's going to uh, go into that black tank to wash it out and then out it will come here out of the dump area now the underbelly on this is enclosed so it's gonna be protected and it's also heated as well. So if you do want to camp in this in a little bit cooler weather, you can. By no means is this a four-season camper. Uh, you really have to go into a price point like fifty, sixty thousand dollars to get a four seasons in a camper. Uh, we have a big slide out here. They call that the super slide. It's going to open it up three extra feet of depth inside, and we'll really notice that, particularly in this floor plan how it's set up. Cherokee does have a walkable roof decking uh, and it also is a rounded or a crowned roof, uh, they like to call it. That keeps the water from piling up there, which water is the enemy to really most constructed items, right? Uh, so it's nice not having the water puddle up there. Comes prepped with backup monitor. Also, it has a spare tire, which is an option that we add on here, but the travel rack does come standard. A travel rack's gonna flip down, you're gonna be able to put you know, bicycles on there, maybe a portable generator, a lot of different uses for that. Coming back here, that even has a, a little latch here for your pet, uh, but what's great about this, this is actually rated at 1,500 pounds, so maybe if you wanna lock up bicycles or a gas grill to that, you surely can. Now it does have the power on, and I just have it out a couple feet. It goes out several more feet, but I'm just a little close to this trailer here. Another standard feature on the Cherokee, again, stuff people want. It comes standard with the outside kitchen. This is the deluxe mini camp kitchen, has the uh, refrigerator here and little freezer up there. Uh, ice cube maker right here, you can never have enough ice at the campsite, right? And then we have a water, uh, outside water, both hot and cold water here, about a four foot long hose, a little wash basin here, and then a grill. So this is new for 20, 21 and a half. Uh, before they just had the two burners, now they actually have the grill. You can actually grill your, your maybe your hamburgers or hot dogs, or maybe you're more into grilling like a pineapple, you can do that on there too. Uh, big windows on this, has the alloy wheels. Uh, then coming over here, 
towards the front we do have some storage up front here get some light on this situation here so that's going to go about three quarters of the way to the other side and then all the way up underneath that queen bed and then here is that controller for your solar panel all right, let's check out the inside. So new for uh, the 2021 and a half is the glass door. It's black, it's like a limo, black tent on it. It's really cool. You really can't see through the window, but there is a window in the door now, uh, so you can see out of it. Um, also still has the three entry step, more ride steps. Uh, has new speakers out here, outside speakers. Still has the hookups for uh, both TV. This is an electrical outlet. There it goes cable outlet and TV uh, wall mount again 274 RK all right let's check it out so as we walk in the big big catch to uh, this trailer is the space in the rear of the trailer how that slide is positioned over here where the the couch and the dinette booth is and then these two chairs and the kitchen in the rear really just opens up this entire space really really makes it nice so you get a lot of countertop space as you can see here uh, new wood color for the 2021s and a half as well um, new floor color as well has linoleum pretty much throughout this trailer so it's going to be easy just to sweep out the only place you're going to have carpet is just right here in the slide area The upper cabinet doors, uh, now all the doors are solid wood. The upper cabinet doors are going to have the glass insert in them. Just for a little bit of decoration. Have your microwave up here, low profile range hood to exhaust out those fumes if, if you burn stuff when you cook like I do. Now this is a, a propane or a gas stove top here and a gas oven. And then we have the seamless countertop on all Cherokee products. I love it. No longer does the edge pop off, right? If you got Formica countertops, you know what I'm talking about. And then we have the, the countertop extension over the sink, stainless black uh, uh, steel sink, and then the high-rise faucet. And then this here, they're calling it a sanitizing station. I call it a soap dispenser. So you can put liquid dish soap in there, and uh, that's handy to have. I wish I had that at my house, actually. Uh, just one less thing on the countertop. Uh, USB charging ports everywhere. Now these are the quick charging USB ports and how you know that is this green light there. A lot of uh, easy reachable plug-ins here. So if you have a coffee maker or crock pot, you can plug it in uh, really easily there. This is the last part of that juice package, which is your, your battery monitor. So right now we're running just off that battery and it's a super cloudy day. I think it might even be raining a little bit and we got all the lights on here and they've been on here for, I don't know, at least 10 minutes or so. Say all the lights, I forgot to turn that one on. One thing really nice about the Cherokee products is look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six lights right here in the kitchen area. A lot of campers I do videos on, they, they just have a couple ceiling lights up here for the kitchen. Well, when you're cooking or washing or whatever, you want to see, right? So Cherokee recognizes that, and that's nice to have light. Uh, it's a new refrigerator for this year. This is, uh, I believe, 11 cubic foot, uh, 12 volt, definitely a 12 volt refrigerator. So running just off that battery power solar panel uh, that I was speaking of there earlier. Uh, down here we have your battery disconnect. So I turn this, all the lights in the camper turn off. So great when you go to store away your camper. <clears throat> Beautiful thing about that is that solar panel will still charge that battery even with that disconnect off. Booth dinette here. It's an oversized booth dinette. You could fit, you know, three... Uh, maybe smaller adults, kids on one side, definitely two uh, full-size adults on uh, each side there. And then underneath here, it's got the four-foot-long drawer, so you can easily access uh, the storage space underneath here. Competing brands, you got to tear apart the cushions, you got to balance the board on your head, and by the end of it, you just got a headache, right? All right, so coming up here, uh, new for the 2021s and a half, they put a subwoofer in the ceiling and some upgraded speakers. There's two speakers inside, two speakers outside. It does come prepped with a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, on the Cherokee. And also we have our electric and antenna up here uh, output. So it's got the antenna up on the roof so you can pull in, you know, your local news stations and stuff at no charge. So long as you're, you're close enough to their broadcast. Uh, coming over here, uh, got the Bluetooth radio with HDMI and USB ports uh, there. So if you got, you know, maybe a thumb drive with movies on it, you can plug it in there. And of course, it's going to be a radio, so AM, FM, all that good stuff. Uh, down here, space heater uh, that doubles as a uh, uh, fireplace. All right.
I'm talking too much. So a couple doors up here. Off to our left is the main, or is the bathroom. There's one bathroom. Uh, in the bathroom of the Cherokee, you're going to get the glass shower surround and the, and the stand-up shower, skylight in there, plenty of room to stand. I'm six foot tall and can fit. Uh, we have, uh, in all Cherokee products, we have the whole trailer, not just bathroom, whole trailer fan. And why this is the whole trailer, you turn that fan on, it's going to act like a whole house attic fan. And there's gaps at the top of these doors for a reason. That allows it to pull out air, even from the main part of the travel trailer, and exhale it out. So that's nice to get just fresh air. You can maybe crack a window open back there in the kitchen, and it's going to just kind of ventilate all the way through. Plenty of spots for extra toiletries, towels, toilet paper, that kind of stuff. Uh, toothbrush holder and that uh, jazz up here. Big sink in the bathroom. A lot of campers, the sink is like half this size. It's got the big usable sink. And I'm walking all around this bathroom. You can easily get changed in here. You can easily use the stool. Uh, even has a couple spots up there for your towels. All right, so coming out of the bathroom, there's also a second entry to the bathroom right here through that pocket door, which goes into the master bedroom which is also accessible through here. Main door in the master bedroom. As we walk in, it's going to be uh, a queen bed that you can walk around all three sides. So if you're a little taller, uh, you know, I know sometimes that's an issue when the wall's right here at the butt of the bed. Uh, this has got, I don't know, a foot or so between the end of the bed and the wall. And uh, so that's gonna allow you a little bit more leg room and also allow you to walk around the bed. Uh, so both sides of the bed is going to have mirrored wardrobes, hanging clothes there. Even spot down here, you can fold some sweaters or some shorts and put them there. And the nightstands on both sides of the bed right here. And then the quick charger and normal power outlet there. So uh, also new for this 2021 and a half. So they've, it's always been this long window here. Now you can open the window, which some people say, well, big deal. It actually is a big deal because you can get some cross ventilation because that window there is always open. That's your exit window. So it's nice having that cross ventilation. That's new in the 2021 and a half or what the 2022s will be. So, all right, I'm sure you're done hearing me talk. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. If you have any particular questions, I'm going to leave some links below of how to contact us. Uh, we've got professionals that can answer those particular questions for you that uh, I'm just no good at. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, everyone go out and uh, do something really good for someone you don't know today. So thanks for watching.